Good morning, I'm John Paddock with the Mojave Valley Daily News and this is the Daily Dose for Tuesday, October 20th. Taco Tuesday, a lot of good Mexican restaurants in town, go get yourself some good tacos. This is brought to you by the Tri-State Radiology Center. At the Tri-State Radiology Center, their experienced imaging and radiology professionals put your needs first. They are proud to provide a high quality level of customer service, medical experience, and commitment to quality for all patients. All right, we got a lot to get to. Let's see what we got here. All right, top story, Veterans Parade to go. City coordinator says this is the Veterans Parade that is held uh, November 7th in front of the Riverview Mall and head south along Miracle Mile there. Uh, there was some confusion whether or not they were going to have it. Originally it had been called off because of COVID concerns, but after they sat down and, and met um, Paul Walsh, who it's named after, his widow Patsy Walsh met with city representatives and they talked about how they could get this done. They're going to do it. It's going to have some changes to it. Uh, there's a lot of information and in story about what they're going to be doing, uh, things that are going to have to go away, like the ROTC uh, and the band that march along with it, uh, with the parade. They're not going to be able to do that. Everyone's going to have to be on a vehicle. Um, there's no handouts, things like that. So there's a lot of information on it, but we're happy that they're having it. Right below that, you see this nice picture, uh, President Trump arriving in uh Flagstaff. Uh, you'll see that there's two honor guards there. One of them on the right there is Corporal Sierra Connell. She's a graduate of Mojave High School um, and she's got the honor of, of greeting the president. Uh, she plans on returning to school in January to finish her college degree and remain part of the reserves. Doug Schuster uh, spoke to the County Supervisors, County Board of Supervisors uh, yesterday and uh, basically went over how the uh, lockdown, how the emergency orders have um, affected the community. He said there's an increase in um, suicides and domestic violence and, and some other things. He also called out the fact that the uh, Board of Supervisors have, have put this um, recommendation for masks but there is a mandate if you attend their meetings and but some of them are not wearing masks at their own meetings so he kind of called them up for that 32 new COVID cases reported in Mojave County we had a downtick for a long time there and now it seems to be rising up again we had a couple days of zero cases then it went up to five and then I think it was 19 and now 32 so kind of keep an eye on that uh, the Laughlin man that got busted back in October because he was um, on his way up to Kingman to meet a 13-year-old child, uh, he got sentenced yesterday to 35 years. So we had talked about this a couple of weeks ago, um, that the average person in this sting, and there was dozens, uh, or there was more than a dozen other people were caught in the, in the sting. Uh, and the, one of the people had gotten 34 years and they weren't sure where he was going to end up. He could end up between, I think it was seven and 35 years. He got 35 years. So he uh, was convicted for luring a minor, aggravated luring of a minor, attempted sexual exploitation of a minor, and attempted sexual conduct with a minor. Um, he was supposedly going up there to meet with a 13-year-old child. So... Um, 35 years for him. Maybe hopefully he'll learn his lesson. We got a uh, picture of the Lady Dust Devils uh, volleyball team. Um, it's a nice picture. Unfortunately, they got beat. They got swept by Kingman Academy. Uh, this was uh, about five days ago. They fell 22-25, 23-25, and 8-25. So kind of a rough day there for them. Who else had a rough day yesterday was the Cowboys. 
our Arizona Cardinals beat them pretty bad, uh, 38 to 10. Ezekiel Elliott had two fumbles that led to touchdowns for the Cardinals. Quarterback Andy Dalton also had a rough time. He had two uh, interceptions. Kyler Murray and the Cardinals cruised to an easy win there. So, in weather, uh, it's supposed to be nice. 100 degree day, might be a little breezy, um, but it's supposed to be a good day over the next week or so. It's going to be dropping into the 90s and even by Saturday into the upper 80s. So, um, we got Corn Fest going on this weekend, Friday and Saturday. So, upper 80s out there Saturday might not be a bad deal as long as we have no W. Um, also, we talked about the parade. We'll have more information tomorrow on another parade that, that will be going on with the boombox being canceled. The, Mahav the uh, Kiwanis Club of the Colorado River is going to be doing a parade of lights. It's going to be running along the same route, um, but we'll have more information on that tomorrow, or you can go to our Facebook page and, and get that information. So, so this is a Daily Dose brought to you by the Tri-State Radiology Center. The Tri-State Radiology Center offers same or next day appointments and they accept most insurances including Medi-Cal. They have a wide open MRI and offer digital x-rays of the reports ready in 24 hours. Call them today for an appointment at 928-460-7226. And just a reminder, the Daily Dose and Valley Voices are now available to stream on the Anchor app, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and more. So the links to those streaming services will be in the description below. Uh, we're actually going to be filming our Athlete of the Week this week, and that appears on, on our uh, YouTube page as well. So check it out. All right, everybody, have a good Tuesday. Enjoy your tacos, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.